I'd be curious to have everyone look at, remember we've talked for, for over a year about Babcock and Wilcox, but it's coming on strong. Let's take a look at it and get all the experts to weigh in. I am not in. If you recall a couple of meetings ago, I sold <clears throat> when, it, when it tanked <clears throat> because they were sourcing steel from Ukraine. Uh, so it tanked. But remember the CEO of Babcock and Wilcox, BW, is also the CEO of um, uh, B. Riley, which is their largest institutional holder. And so they've engineered it to go up. Uh, does anyone want to bring up a, probably a better chart than I have? I, I have share screen. It should work. Anyone want to share? Sorry. BW? I can put it up. Okay. It's been very strong the last week. Uh, even today, it was strong. Not getting knocked down. Is it sharing? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So this is a daily chart. This is trading view. Oh, okay. Huh. Um, so this is this the um, uh, Ukraine news you mentioned? Right, that's the Ukraine news. Just just everyone watching who hasn't seen us review this before, Babcock and Wilcox is a way to play both the traditional energy sector and renewable energy. So they do servicing to oil and gas companies for parts and boilers, and they also uh, do uh, produce hydrogen and have carbon capture and they're making a lot of inroads on their renewable energy sector. And they used to not have a lot of PRs, but I actually talked to them and got through to their executives and now they have all sorts of PRs, uh, mostly in the renewable area and they're landing contracts right and left with their bright loop technology. So that's a quick background on them. And they got knocked down when they warned and they hit about four, is it 420? Went all the way down. I don't know, Ethan. What? How do you explain that they used to be at two hundred and thirty? Oh, in twenty sixteen. That was yeah. That was uh. They had all sorts of in the past. They had all sorts of legal problems, and uh, uh, they had reverse splits. So that would ex explain that. I I found reverse out about, splits would show adjusted on here. I don't know. I don't know. Then it was way before I knew about them to buy them. All I can tell you is they, in the last year, they were cleared by the SEC of any additional wrongdoing, and now they're fine. So this is their all-time chart. Oh, this is their all-time chart. Oh, this okay. is their all-time chart since July of 2015, or let's see, June. And they were as high as 240, 239.90, and now they're $6. Right. So yeah, my take on that is no, from my perspective. If you want to look at, I mean, the recent a, year. Someone had, was, had feedback? Oh, yeah, no, I was going to say there's a gap. If you look at all time on the monthly, there's a gap. And um, and this year? thing only have 80, 80 yeah, there's only 80 million floats. So if you get enough volumes, the average volume is about half a million. If you get enough volume, you can get a very big spikes back to 102, possibly. That's 120. I, I probably, maybe $20 is probably where it will go. These are a very classic undervalue uh, stocks if you, if you uh, look into that. Why do you say it's undervalued? Uh, I, I'm. This is like the classic cigar play that Michael Berry would typically play. Um, something that is completely oversold, but you would have to do a lot of analysis on the balance sheet just to see if it's even stable. Okay, well, okay, I'll, I'll leave presented. that to the other traders. Right. I, I presented, uh, is that Tan talking? I presented a, a financial analysis back about a year ago. And uh, just the, the upshot is what their financials depend on their operational costs every quarter. When the operational costs are low, they have a profit. And when the operational costs are high, they have a loss. So there's no predicting quarter to quarter 
how they're going to do. It's what you call lumpy. And it's, it's a, you know, you never know what's going to happen with these guys. So this last go around, I bought it $5.99. I'd have to bring up my tree to tell you when On, that was. On uh, January 5th? Yeah, probably about right. $5.99. And then it was going up. And then they had the announcement. So I got out at 6.54 the day of the crash. Uh, oh, and- you bought it at $5.99 in... May. Uh, I'd have to look it up to tell you exactly. But not two weeks ago. No, 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 no. no back then, and I held it, and at one point it got over eight, and it was uh, Carl. I don't know, is he still on? It was Carl who, at a meeting, said to me, "Why didn't you sell?" And he was right. I thought it was going to go higher, but he was right, and I didn't sell. So it went back down. And I held and came back up and I sold and got out with a profit. Um, I I forget what I made. I'd have to look it up. And then I got back in at $5.99. And and then when the day it crashed, I got out early at $6.54. So I had 1,000 shares. So I made like, what, $550. Uh, But I got out. And then it hit the low. And then they start bring it back ever so slowly but it's in an uptrend so it's it's in an uptrend since november but it's not in an uptrend since last november right agree okay so, so Do you i'm have not a strategy to uptrend. take partial profits along the way like where where were you targeting when you got in here but last November, what were you what were you aiming for? What did you think it could oh, do? My, my, my first target, I thought it could get to 10 because of all the hydrogen and carbon capture, which at the time was pretty hot. Uh, that's when Plug, P-L-U-G, it's a hydrogen company. That's when they were doing really well. So I thought it was going to go higher. Um, mm-hmm. But, and it started to go when it got to eight. But um, it just, they started having non-profitable quarters and it just went up and down. Meanwhile, B. Riley went in and bought like two and a half million shares at the low. So anyway, so uh, the bottom line, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm asking you, for example, Beth, they're asking the whole group, is right now you would not get back in. You don't trust it. If I was forced to trade this right now, I would short it below here with a stop right there. Yeah. So so the overall overall downtrend. What, Vaughn? I say it's in a pullback of an overall long-term downtrend. Yeah, and, and this level has several prior lows, which you know, act as minor resistance. This six to six fifty area? Yeah. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, you know, seven prior lows there were always held. Um, that's tough to get through on the way back. Everybody Ethan, wants to Ethan, are you in love with this stock? No, 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 but I'm just no, I'm not. And I'm not in it right now. Actually, it was my daughter that found it. <laughs> and uh, she found it on Robinhood because she's out of Robinhood now, but she didn't. She started out on Robinhood. She found it. And the reason it rang a bell was when I lived in Texas, my friend got offered a job from Babcock and Wilcox. <clears throat> so I knew the company. I knew the name. And I didn't know much about what they did. And when I, and you know how I'm big on renewable. And when I got into it and started reading about all the renewable stuff and all their hydrogen, making hydrogen and carbon capture, I thought they're going to start getting contracts. And that is what's happening. I mean, they're, they're, that part of the business is doing really well. So, and this, this technology, I don't think anyone else in the world has it. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, that's why that's why I've been following it. Now, I made a little money on it twice, but that's why I'm more interested in it. 
I'm not saying, I was just curious of everyone's opinion of it now. So, do we have another play someone wants to? Uh... Um, I, I, I could just sh show, you know, one thing. Um, remember a, a few months ago, this is the you last- You want to share, time. Robert? Should I unshare I, this? Yeah, share Netflix. The, the, this was something a few months ago on that gap. Wow. I was saying was the screaming by, I think it was the October meeting. It was the night of the gap here? we had our meeting. And, Are you uh, talking about in here? Yeah. Th okay. That was, I mean, I, I never actually went in it, but I, I was always kicking myself. And then, and then the pullback came after that, and it was just as pretty as you get right there. Yeah. Right to the minor support mm -hmm. where the base was before mm -hmm. that was just one of the most beautiful buys i've seen the last few months and uh it, it's now at new highs you know we're working back to that 400 dollars level let's not say new highs necessarily but since oh, 400 bucks would have been the target it was 270 to 400 right right in there Two two seventy. I I can't actually see the chart so well, but it looks like wh wherever that resistance is from last April. Yeah. All right. Let's do island, that. Uh, back to the island. So back to here. Yeah, that was the entry, right there. This... Yeah, but I, I'm just pointing it out because it was such a nice entry that I've always just like, how come I didn't do that? <laughs> I just wasn't. I just went. Oh, because that's when I broke my elbow. That's right. That's what. Mm. I, I have an excuse. That was that was November. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, I'd have been in that. And, On this uh, day, or first swing. The pullback. The, so the, this day. Yeah, yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Now I, I have to confess also. I would have been out some on the new high a few days later. But yeah. the hold portion is really working well. And I think it, I mean, I wouldn't get in now. It's way too late. But uh, it was a nice pattern to me. Something and it I has said. earnings in a two days or something. Yeah, that's another reason to look out. 19, on the 19th. Yeah. That, well, the last, the last earnings created that, that big gap, the breakout. Yeah. Yeah, that's when it was, whenever the last earnings was. We had a meeting and I was saying, I really like this stuff. Anyway, so. And what's that level up there, like the, the double bottom back last April? Oh, we're right where we are, 333. Yeah, much there. Yeah, mm. much there. So it's going to get harder now. Do you want to look at Tesla? I was just going to say that. Let's look at Tesla. <laughs> I don't trade. That's, that's coming up. 